sir. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. Some old Driscoll's. 
gentlemen here we are okay get ready okay go to work of course all right keep it cool and follow me fellers Decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Don't act like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, son. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. 
Get a word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, you think we're here to fight? Open the goddamn vault! Open it! How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Get a move on. Too goddamn slow! I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh. you better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. One. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All 
Until you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Gentlemen, that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed.
My husband's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. <laughs>